And we are back. <laughs> bright and early in the morning. Actually, it's not bright at all. It's raining outside. It's dark. It's gray. It's gloomy. But I have my coffee. I listen to some Metallica. I had my hydroxy cut. And I am ready to tackle this today. Let's get some uh, wallpaper done. By the time I leave today, I want this whole living area to be wallpapered. That doesn't include the uh, the bedroom, but back to this wall right here at least. I'm really hesitant to pull up the carpet yet because as I was saying yesterday, it just really helps as a barrier when I come in here. Um, you know, in case my feet are dirty or muddy or anything. But anyways, I'll take that on later on. Let's get to removing this mirror. actually kind of cool though I mean pull this out come on now and we can see all the wiring in there hmm potentials I wonder if those are like potential outlets kind of cool that you can see all that though and I just wonder also should I cover that hole like should I fill it in I mean, not permanently, but I mean, should I put like a, a piece of wood over it so I can paper the whole wall? Because I want to use that as like a picture wall over there. Because like I said, that's really the only wall that I have to put like a collage of pictures on. This is a good opportunity though for you to see just how thin these walls are. That's like an eighth of an inch, if that. That's why I have to be so careful about where I'm putting screws in that, because you put a screw in and it basically destroys that part of the wall for good. One good thing, though, is that the way that it was on there, we didn't destroy the wall. It just had, like, those contact strips, those foam contact strips. And any bit of adhesive that was left on here, I was able to just rub off with my fingers and pull it off. So that is, that went off pretty good. All right, guys, check this out. I bought some new uh, knee pads the other day. Look at these monsters. <laughs> and the thing is that they have Velcro on the back here. Well, here's the deal. I got big fat legs. So the bottom here, that one goes around, uh, you know, my whatever you call it here, my calf really good. But this part does not go around my upper leg because it's so fat. So what I did was I grabbed a couple of these things wrap it they're 13 inch storage straps and they are velcro and i just attach these onto the back of this and extend it fat leg defeated okay so with that taken care of the next thing we need to conquer is getting the uh the wallpaper border off these two places here so i brought my iron i've got it set on cotton there and it's heating up good i should just be able to run it over these and then like peel this as I go across.
show you what we got here. Everything from here on over is completely prepped for that wallpaper. So I am excited, man. I'm getting ready to do this. I had to go along each and every one of these holes and sand all of that stuff all around. And you got a billion of them over here. <laughs> but, uh, but that's all prepared. Then I washed down the walls. And then I put this in here. Just a temporary thing. I mean, it's not temporary. It's, you know, it's on there to cover that hole because I want wallpaper on the whole wall. But I put screws in there just deep enough where I could put this in and it would hold it right flush with the wall. And then I used that flex seal and put it around there so there's not going to be any gaps or anything. It's not 100% perfect, so you might be able to see it or feel it like if you ran your hand on the wallpaper when I'm done there, but um, I mean, it'll serve the purpose. It'll give me a, a full wall without a hole in it. The only other thing I still need to prep is this wall over here. I need to do those holes down there, and, uh, and then I can paper this part too. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and just do this and get it done.